Hi everyone, how you all doing? This is your girl Eunice, of course your village girl guys. And today I want to show you something you had never even expected. You had never even expected that exists in a village guys. We have a small factory that produces a lot of huge work. That is actually like the engine of every home. Yes, we make saucepans in this village. And that is what we are going to do because we know food literally every, everything runs around food you get up in the morning and all you want is to make sure that you have eaten by the day or before you go to bed guys so yes we are going to make saucepans from a very very small and minimal um requirement that you ha um you had never ever expected guys so how about you come with me and we check out the place and we we'll make a saucepan together with you What I'm going to do is put this on top of this surface that I've just made but you have to be very careful in that this should not break otherwise you will have messed everything up. Carefully like that, you notice? And then what I'm going to do is to move the excess soil out so that the shape of the saucepan is going to come out until the edge of the saucepan and that is exactly what I'm doing. Oh. 
Great. It is time for me to put back this molding shape here back onto this. And this point, you don't even need to breathe as you're doing it. You hold your breath, guys. There we go. So I just placed it back. And now what next is I'm going to have to pour in. You've been wondering what these kids here are doing. This right here is the material that makes the saucepan, guys. It is the, the raw materials that I showed you, like this one. Hold on, just a minute. Like this one here. Is what is melted. So guys, when I'm done making that uh, shape for molding, what I'm going to do is to use this melted aluminium, which is right here. Um, what they get is these materials that I showed you and then you put it on fire and make sure the heat is extremely high and the only way you're going to maintain the heat there is by pumping from here in that way a lot of heat is generated that side which is going to melt the material so it's now liquid and I'm going to pick that liquid and pour it into this molding shape here so at this point it needs a combined effort, I cannot do it alone because one person has to be holding and my colleague here is going to help me and pour the liquid. It's extremely hot so you be very careful. So this is excess liquid and this is not thrown by the way, we are going to put it back into the melting fire and be used for the next. For the next material, for the next saucepan, guys. Yeah. Tinky, Ati. Did you just see that? Right there is my saucepan, guys. So. Well, more. Perfect, guys. This is just to cool it. I just made my saucepan, guys. <laughs> so right here is the saucepan we just made, guys. I mean, did you learn anything out of this? I didn't ever see anything that looked like what I just did, guys. So they didn't know any science like I just did now. I mean, just have science in the village, guys. So this is just our village factory here. It does not take a very big, huge building to produce or to manufacture. It's just a shed that you've just seen right now. It's a tent. I mean, it's not even something big. But we do a lot of it. Like, unexpected things, guys. So, I'm so proud of my village, meanwhile. I have to do is just to smoothen my saucepan and boom, I'll be done definitely. So let's go right there and smoothen it already.
begun with the final process. So this right here is the saucepan I just made. I hope you noticed from the beginning to the end, guys. I mean, this is just something that you would not expect it can happen in a village. But yes, we do this. And here is what, actually this is what we use most for cooking because it's really a heavy saucepan and very hot at the same time. So right here is actually a display now for sale, guys. Whoever wants to come and buy, will come right here and buy from here, guys. Thanks a lot for watching this one, guys. Until the very next time.